To ensure our PV system is working correctly, we also need to check the short circuit current to make sure that it coincides with the amount of sunlight we get. Our panels are rated at a short circuit current of 5.76 amps. What that means is that they'll generate 5.76 amps when the sunlight is producing an irradiance of 1,000 watts per square metre. Now, of course, our sunlight isn't always going to produce 1,000 watts per square metre. Sometimes it's going to be far less. So we need to carry out a calculation. I and mean, obviously, if our panels are rated at 5.76 amps and we're only getting 500 watts, they're only going to generate half of the current that they'd be expected to. So I need an irradiance meter. I need to measure the strength of the sunlight, so the irradiance of the sunlight. I've been outside and taken a measurement and I've got a value of 833 watts per square metre. I now need to carry out a short circuit current on my system to make sure that my value of current is proportional to this. The calculation you need to convert the values we've got to the actual current that we're going to expect would be to multiply the short circuit current value of the panel, which is 5.76, by 833 and divide the sum by 1,000. But to make life easier for myself, I just convert the 833 into 0.833. And if I divide that into 5.76, I end up with 4.8 amps, which is approximately the value I'm expecting to get. <laughs> Having calculated the value of current I'm expecting, I now need to short circuit the system and take a measurement. So first of all, I need to make sure the, the inverter is isolated. I then join the plug and the socket from the, the panels together, therefore creating a short circuit. I turn on the isolator, and then with a the clamp meter, I need to take a measurement. And there we are, we can see that the measurement I'm getting is indeed 4.8. So that's just showing me that my system is working as, as well as I could expect it to be. The thing I need to remember now, of course, is because this is a DC system, when you pull the leads apart under load, you're going to end up with a big arc. So I really need to make sure I isolate this first. Once it's isolated, I can then disconnect it and reconnect the, the inverter.